Things I thought could never happen to me in a punk band? What? <laughs> we Are Lady Parts, a new original comedy streaming only on Peacock. A confused mix of hash anthems and sour girl power. Syrah, vocals, Aisha, drummer, Bisma, bassist, Mumtaz, band manager, and me, Amina, lead guitar. You were really good until you puked all over the front row. Ew. We Are Lady Parts, all episodes streaming now, only on Peacock. Hi, I'm Liz Munoz, CEO of Torrid, and at Torrid, we know how hard it is to find clothes that fit great and feel super comfortable, especially if you're a bigger or curvy girl. So when we couldn't find the perfect jean, we built the perfect jean. We call it the bombshell, and it truly does it all. It lifts, it shapes, it smooths, but the first thing you'll notice when you put them on, most comfortable jeans ever. Honestly, they're magic. So come to Torrid.com and try your first pair of bombshell jeans today. Some things never change. (laughs) We deliver laughs on the daily. The Kid Craddock Morning Show. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday so far, Kid Nation. Thanks for joining us so early in the morning. Mm -hmm. We do have love letters to Kelly coming up in about 20 minutes. We also got your midweek update in in about 40 minutes. And uh, I woke up to a message that said... uh, Today is National Social Media Day, by the way. And the message say, so, did she buy it? Uh, and I was lost. I was like, I don't know what you were talking about. What, what is going on? Uh-huh. And he's, uh, and they said, uh, check, your, uh, check your wife's Instagram story. She ran into Kelly Raspberry mm-hmm. yesterday. And Kelly yeah. Raspberry held up something uh, that my wife was shopping for. So I will have the answer to that question. <laughs> I'm curious because I had to go. Did you? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll answer that question for you during the Kid Craddock Morning Show morning newscast, uh, Kelly <laughs> Raspberry. <laughs> yeah, we were both doing some pre-vacation shopping. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. uh-huh. For the fellas. A little bit for the fellas. Huh? A little oh. bit for the fellas. Uh-huh. Oh, more so okay. for ourselves. But I think what Kinsey was shopping for for herself was actually more for you. Yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah I was saying the fellas like me and Alan. The fellas. Oh, not, not for the fellas. Like, not, not for the general. Camry, I know. I meant, you know. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got, got you. All right. you got yeah, so you, I got, got an you. answer for that. Kelly, since you were wondering on her I'm excited. Right. I'm excited to find out. I'm excited. Out. Well, let's, let's finish this celebrity <laughs> gossip. Sponsored by the Bank of America. Customized cash rewards credit card. Earn 3% cash back on online shopping. So Ariana Grande, she's always been really open about prioritizing her mental health. You know, she's been through a lot the last few years, and she's always been very open about it. So yesterday, she announced that she's teaming up with BetterHelp to give away $1 million in free therapy. Wow. Incredible. So applicants will be matched with a licensed therapist for one free month, and then they'll get 15% off for the second month. And I think from her post, like you just go to like betterhelp.com slash Ariana. H-E-L-P. Better H-E-L-P, that's right. Yes, you're right, you're right. So in an Instagram post, Ariana said, while acknowledging that therapy should not be a privilege, should not be for a privileged few, but something everyone has access to. And acknowledging this does not, doesn't fix the issue in the long run. But I really wanted to do this anyway in hopes of inspiring you to dip your toe in, to feel okay asking for help, and to hopefully rid your minds of any sort of self-judgment in doing so. Healing is not linear or easy, but you are worth the effort and time, I promise. So that's really awesome. So thank you, Ariana. And BetterHelp is awesome. So mm-hmm. if, if you're struggling, and anything, a sponsor I'm... of a lot of our podcasts. It really yes. is. <laughs> but you know, it's a really cool, it's a cool service. It is. Yeah. Is. yeah. So many people not happy with Kim Kardashian. Pff, what else is new? Right. But uh, now they're really not happy with what she chose to wear for her tour of the Vatican this week. Uh-oh. It was, let's be honest, it was a little sexy. It was okay. off the shoulder number, sheer white lace, lots of cutouts exposing her midsection and her back. Okay. And when she went into the Sistine Chapel, she did cover up with a long leather jacket But her critic said the whole thing was just inappropriate and disrespectful. But one person tweeted, I had to buy a scarf to go into the Vatican to cover my shoulders because because I had a sleeveless shirt on. You know, the Vatican's museum does have a dress code that prohibits visitors from wearing sleeveless or low-cut garments and short sort of skirts that hit above the knee. So while you might consider your skirt that, you know, is two inches above the knee it might be appropriate for other things but it wouldn't be for the vatican but what she wore looked more like she was going to be sitting front row at paris fashion week you know what i mean too fashiony uh, it's kim kardashian I, it's kim kardashian and and the lord accepts us whatever way we come you remember that time i went out one saturday night kelly and i met these two girls 
and we got to talking. And I'm not sure if I invited them to church or what, for whatever reason, I saw the same girls at church the next day and they were wearing the same well, clothes that they had. Them. Okay. You brought them. Um, and they were wearing the same clothes that they wore the, the night before. The, the, you know, the Saturday night hoochie go out clothes. But it was cool. I was kind of surprised. But um, it was cool. I was like, "Hey, come on in and and uh, let's let's uh, worship the Lord." Even though you you know dressed like a little what you wear. That's a good anecdote. <laughs> Thanks. It's like it's almost vacation, Kel. <laughs> you get, um, you're getting the sea game right now. <laughs> and, then, and then when you get back from vacation, you'll be like, "We we just got back from vacation." <laughs> yeah. 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 We're in the middle of year. Relax. Two, yeah. two months after vacation, it's it's it's, it's, it's time for a vacation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I haven't had a vacation in a while. Need to get the sea yeah. game. <laughs> So The weekend is moving from the concert stage to the small screen. Um, his real name is Abel Tesfaye, and he is set to star in an all-new cult TV series on HBO from the creator of Euphoria, which I think will be cool because I loved Euphoria. So he's not only going to star, but he's also going to co-write and executive produce the show. And the series is called The Idol, and it'll center on a female pop singer who starts a romance with an enigmatic L.A. club owner who is the leader of a secret cult, played by The Weeknd. And it sounds like a Star is Born meets like American Horror Story. Yeah, meets Euphoria. Yes. <laughs> um, and this isn't his first acting role. He had a brief cameo as himself in Adam Sandler's Uncut Gems, if anybody saw that very anxiety-inducing movie. And um, he's also had a few guest roles in animated shows like Robot Chicken and American Dad. So I'm excited to see this mm. one. Mm. So Britney Spears, you know I'm going to have a little update for you. Please. Okay. Mm. Sources say Britney's lawyer plans to formally file a petition to end the conservatorship any day now. The paperwork's done. It's just got to be filed and processed. And, you know, at the, um, during the show yesterday, some people were questioning, is Britney really on vacation in Hawaii with her boyfriend? She's been posting stuff that looks like some old videos from the past. Maybe she's trying to fool us. Well, then we found out that she's actually in Hawaii because paparazzi were snapping pictures of her. She is not happy about that. Uh-oh. Now, granted, it did show that she's really there. So there's the upside. She's not lying. But she posted on a, a video on her Instagram yesterday saying, so being here in Maui is pretty crazy now. The paps know where I am, and it's really not fun. It's pretty hard going anywhere because these silly faces keep popping up to take my picture. They distort my body and mess with the image, and it's embarrassing. I know my body is not perfect, but I definitely do not look like how they portray me. It's rude, and it's mean, so paps can kindly blank blank you and blank off. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> She said this before. Remember, she's done this before where she says they're distorting my body. This is not the first time. She said, do's and don'ts. If you are a pap fan or anyone in my space, don't talk to me while I'm texting. It's rude. Got to focus. Also, you know, you might be trying to text to avoid, you know, having conversation. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Al? Did they have their own Hawaiian paparazzi or are they flying over there from California? Well, everybody's a paparazzi with a phone, right? But I guess Mm -hmm. they just... Yeah, if you know Britney's there, you're flying to Maui because you're right after what she did last week. Those photos are going to be more valuable now than they've yeah. been in a long time. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so it's worth you know, oh, hopping on a plane and flying over there just to and stalk that's Britney. Gotta be annoying for her because she's just trying to get away, go on vacation. Now she's got to like avoid the media. Which sucks. She al- yeah. She also asked again, stop messing with my pics and editing them to p- to the point where it's embarrassing. Now, like I said, there are a lot of pictures of her in Hawaii right now, but fans said, you know, what about those old pictures from the previous vacations of the last day, a few days? No, no response to, to why. We can't but, figure y'all out. Do what? We, we can't figure y'all out. Y'all want to, y'all want, don't post a picture unless I get a chance to edit it and, and filter it. No, okay. Now, they're editing and filtering, but you don't want to, I don't, I don't want to Not to look like that. I'm not taking any more pictures. I'm not taking any more pictures. Well, because well, she, saw she what didn't happened ask with... them to take the pictures. Yeah, the you want to be mm-hmm. in your best light. I get it. I don't, I'm not thrilled with, you know, somebody catching me from a bad angle either. Especially in a, like, if you're in a swimsuit on vacation. You Look know? at the links that Courtney Card or Chloe Kardashian went to because of an unflattering photo. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. I would love to see a reality show with paparazzi in it. Like, it's about their life and how, how hard done. it is for There's them. There's some paparazzi that have, like, their own YouTube channels. Mm. Where they, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just don't want to give them any sort of clout for what they do. You well, know, and that, and that would yeah, make but- them... 
it, it's but interesting, I mean, but, celebrities yeah. need them as well. You know, well I mean, I, it sucks because yeah, it's annoying, but they yeah. also want the paparazzi to get a good photo of their. When dress. you're starting, when you're starting, you want them. Mm-hmm. And then when they, be, you know, when you get famous, you want them to all go away. It's you know, or when you've done something bad, balance. you want them there to take pictures of you doing something good. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. And then the one last thing, Kevin Federline. You know, she's uh, he is the father of Britney's two sons and the primary caregiver. Uh, said through his lawyer, the best thing would be for their mom to be healthy and happy. And if either of those things are not true, it doesn't provide for the best setting for custody to be exercised. Um, Brittany said she wants the conservatorship to end without a psych evaluation. But Kevin's lawyer said, yeah, we might have to request a psych evaluation because when it comes to our sons, we have to make sure that she is good enough to get some more of her rights back. Because right now she has like, if, I don't even know if it's 30% right now i'm not really even sure it was taken where he had 70 and she had 30 but it was i think she finally got unsupervised i think i don't know i haven't done the latest the latest check on her Mm -hmm. custody arrangement but she wants more obviously yeah so last week former disney star drake bell um we talked about how he pleaded guilty to child endangerment charges after preying on a 15 year old fan online and yesterday, another former Disney star was charged with a serious crime, and he was a no-show in court. Uh-oh. So remember Kyle Massey, a.k.a. Corey Baxter, on yeah. That's a Raven and Corey in the Corey House? Corey in the House, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was also on Dancing with the Stars, remember? Yeah. So he was charged with one count of communication with a minor for immoral purposes, and he's accused of electronically sending sexually explicit content to a 13-year-old girl between mm-hmm. December of 2018 and January 2019. What? So he was scheduled to appear for his arraignment Monday in Washington, but he failed to show. And mm, so, sources say that the accuser is the same one who sued him in civil court back in 2019. He was sued for $1.5 million for allegedly sending the minor sexually explicit pictures and videos on Snapchat. But Kyle was saying that he was being extorted. And the girls' legal team decided to go through the Washington legal, se- legal system after they discovered that Kyle maybe doesn't have the money to make the case worth fighting in civil court. Um, and police say that they began investigating in early 2020. And the girl's mother told cops that Kyle... Uh, has known her since she was four years old and they were given the police were given a thumb drive by the girl's mom containing all of the things that he allegedly sent um and they're not not good and so the response you know from kyle um he denied he's always denied the girl's allegations and he said that the girl's legal team demanded the 1.5 million earlier this year or they would go to public or they would go public to ruin his career and kyle's mom has also been active on Instagram saying the same thing. And she said that this family tried to sue Kyle in California two years ago and they were successful, but she posted several letters allegedly from the girl's legal team saying things like, this will follow you for the rest of your life. And Kyle's mom said that the girl's mother sexually assaulted Kyle and he sent the pictures to the mom, not the child. Whoa. So like it's Kyle's a lot mom, of... I'm trying to put that together. Kyle's so Kyle's mom, mom is saying that this was like... The that, mom or the, the girl? The, the, the girl's mom. The him. Yeah. Yeah, and that okay. he was sending inappropriate things to her, not to the daughter. Oh, and now, like, so it, he okay. So he was basically saying he was being seduced by the mom. Mm-hmm. That's okay. what Kyle. That's what Kyle's mom is saying. Okay. And she also wow. said that she also said that he's not running from the law. Mm-hmm. That their legal team had no idea that he even had a court date. So it's a lot of back and forth. Oh, that's a, mess. a lot of allegedly. That's massive. Yeah. yeah. But, wow. All right, so it's been rumored for years that James Corden wanted to leave nighttime and take over Ellen's daytime slot. Uh, when she announced her show was going to end after next season, her name was allegedly at the top, or his name was allegedly at the top of the list of her replacements. Sources say James was very upset when Kelly Clarkson landed that gig and not him, and now he's threatening to return to the UK if he doesn't get a decent raise. The source says James is not sure why he wasn't asked to take over Ellen's slot. He feels he's proven himself to be a great talk show host with all his viral content. He's always hosting award shows. He just did a good job with a friend's reunion. Reportedly earns about $5 million a year, plus an extra $9 million for all his side hustles. Wow. Hosting, right? The source said he figures he's been doing this longer than Kelly and has a huge fan base and wants his next deal to reflect that financially. So his contract's up in August and his bosses know he's been thinking about moving back to the UK. And in recent interviews, you know, he's been talking about being homesick. But a source said, oh, he, he'd settle for staying if he can make more money and work less. Uh, of course. Well, who wouldn't? Did we do this story that Kelly's taking over Allen for sure? I thought it was speculated, but I didn't know it was for sure. I heard that he got. I heard she got her time yeah. slot. Okay, She's the okay. Time That's, slot, I mean, I I, I, but okay. then who's okay. going to take over Kelly's time slot? <clears throat> well, they were saying, wasn't there a rumor that Tiffany Haddish? But I don't know if anybody mm-hmm. tuned oh, yeah. into her because she was guest hosting for 
Ellen on Monday, I think. I thought mm-hmm. Chelsea She Hammer. needs a lot of coaching. She's sweet and funny, and she had moments, but she was really out of her element. But yeah, with everyone. coaching, I mean, I'm sure Kelly Clarkson had to have coaching. Every sure. Ellen, Everybody has to have coaching. And yeah. Anyway. I thought uh, Chelsea Handler did a really good job uh, hosting well, she's done for it Ellen's show. Yeah. yeah. So maybe she could take over Kelly's slot. And with Ellen being on help. vacation and all these people sitting in, it's probably like little mini auditions for who's going to take you know, Kelly's, Aniston. Old, Kelly's yeah. old slot. Yeah, yeah right. probably. And, and would Chelsea Handler be able to keep it family friendly? Because she, she likes to... She likes I know. She was, like talking, <laughs> yeah. she, she was talking about Wiz and how he <laughs> yeah. like, ran into a door because he was so high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, we got more celebrity gossip, showbiz top five, about an hour from now. But coming up next, it's time to get into love letters to Kelly. And since it's National uh, Social Media Day, we have a letter involving social media and a husband or boyfriend who doesn't feel loved enough on social media, Kelly Raspberry. Oh. Yeah. We'll read that letter next. Stay tuned for more of the Kid Craddock Morning Show. For the ones who get going when the going gets tough. And the ones who know, we're tougher together. For the pathfinders breaking new ground, Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as fast access to experts and 24-7 customer support. Because we know you have people depending on you, so you can always depend on us. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hi, I'm Liz Munoz, CEO of Torrid. And at Torrid, we know how hard it is to find a bra that looks great and feels super comfortable, especially if you're a bigger or curvy girl. So we have spent the last two years building the perfect everyday wire-free bra with the belief that it should feel as good as it looks. It gives all the support and shape you'll ever need without any of the wires. Honestly, it's the first bra you'll forget to take off when you go to bed. So come to Torrid.com and try our life-changing wire-free bra today.